Hey guys, I just wanted to do a, a quick video today um, talking about uh, diet and food choices. So uh, this week um, I went camping for uh, two nights and I got back last night and all of this week, today being Monday, I'm moving. And then after I move next week, I'm going away again for two days on another type of camping trip. So really what I wanted to talk about was how we look at diet and I'm a big fan of lifestyle choices and, and using that more of a reference because diet's kind of a, it's a dirty word of sorts, you know, because they don't work. No diet really works. Your lifestyle choice, that, that's what's important. You know, we can use diets as a tool to get short-term gains or make a, have a short-term goal, but it's really our day-to-day -day activity that makes a big difference on if we're healthy or not. So, I mean, certainly if you're overweight or you're sick, you can use, you know, some type of diet to kind of push you in the right direction. But to be honest with you, you can't go back to the way things were. So we have to have this foundation of, of a whole foods, real diet, so to speak, you know, or lifestyle choices. So, and that's going to be our foundation. So the reason I brought up camping and moving is that, you know, these types of events and vacations and holidays and birthdays and all other kinds of things throw us off our game. Um, you, you know, we really get to the point where, you know, you, you start eating the chips and the pizza and the convenient foods because that's what's there. But when we follow a diet and these types of events happen, we slip back into our old ways way too easily. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because, you know, if you establish a good foundation of wholesome eating, nutrient dense, real food, and these types of events happen, it's no big deal. You didn't fall off the wagon, you didn't cheat, it's just life happens. So the more you're prepared for it and the more you establish a good foundation, it, the easier it is to get back to eating real food. So as an example, you know, I went camping and yeah, the potato chips were there and we grilled a lot, so it was a lot of burgers and I, I skipped the bun, but you know, it's just stuff like that. Drank a little bit more alcohol than I typically would. Um, and I feel it, I'm, I'm dragging. But what I did last night in anticipation of this week is that I fired up the grill. I made four more burgers, I made six sausages, I made about a dozen pieces of chicken in anticipation of this week. So just because you're going on vacation or you're going away, if you plan ahead, you can prep a lot in order to help you have a more successful um, eating habits, so to speak. I mean, sure, I know that there's gonna be poor choices in front of me this week, but it's you know not that big of a deal. I'll get through it, and when I get settled into my new home, I know that it'll be back to making salads and prepping healthy food and eating more regularly and get back into my routine. So, you know, I just wanted to kind of talk about the fact that, you know, diets can work as tools, but, you know, rarely do we follow a diet and then stick with it because they're not really a sustainable, you know, low carb or low fat or Atkins or Mediterranean or whatever. I mean, we can adopt lifestyle, you know, dietary lifestyle habits, but to stick to a strict diet um, just has a tendency to be, to be way too strict. Um, it doesn't allow us to be flexible in moments of, of being out with our friends or vacations or holidays or birthdays. But if we just, you know, stick to a plant-based, you know, a nutrient-rich diet and not a vegetarian diet per se, I mean, those work for some people, but from my, in my case, it's as much plant material as I can tolerate and then you know healthy proteins healthy fats and a variety of other things and you know when life throws you a curveball you know you just do the best you can and don't beat yourself up and you know and just uh, move forward and then when you can get your feet back underneath you you start making those healthy choices again so anyway I just thought I'd put this little video out there and and say that you know we all have our challenges and, and we all have to do the best we can but the worst thing we could do is try to stick to some very strict rules. And of course, you know, don't beat yourself up if we, you know, slip a little bit. That's what life's all about, slipping and picking yourself back up and uh, picking, uh, um, picking back up where you left off. So that's it. And I hope to produce a couple more videos this week. But with the move, it might be a little tricky. So uh, stay tuned and uh, look forward to seeing you again. Thanks.